But we do now be in at 9 50. We know it's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Has to be. In the world. So it is time for us to have a beer. Now, we still haven't got sponsors for this spot, but I'm just going to show you how effective it is. Um, because I imagine now the sales of our, our tipple this week are going to go through the roof. We've got Emerson's Pilsner, which is actually one of my favourite beers. So let's just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who shook it? Did you shake the bloody no, can? No, I didn't, but that's a great idea. Um, that was awful. That's the worst one you've ever done. Best, do you think that was the worst crack? You do yours. You do yours. Now just... I'm scared that Sarah's laughing out there because she's... Because she's shaking up the beers. Yeah, she's shaking up the beers. Hilarious. Good we had one. to send out for these during the show because I suddenly realised, oh, that's pretty good, Ben. Pretty good. So we've got an Emerson's Pilsner, and it's a Kiwi classic. Emerson's Pilsner is beautifully showcases Nelson Grow and Rework Walker Hops. It's overt fruitiness and um, something oozes citrus. Apparently it's like a Sauvignon Blanc. Let's have a taste. Is I it? Think a terrible head on it. Oh, geez, that's nice. The Pilsner's just so it's refreshing. Just, it is nice, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's really, really nice. And there it is there, folks. I'll just hold it up to Kim and it's the Emerson's Pilsner now. We're probably breaching advertising guidelines having booze nice on the colour to it. But no one's paid any money for this. We're just drinking. Um, <laughs> ben, do you get where I've been going saying this week? You know, we haven't got the most listeners, but when we can take a story like the Solicitor General thing and get it to be a story in mainstream media, we're doing our job. Do you see what yeah, I'm Yeah, and about? it's the people that decide if it's a big story, and it is a big story, because when you put something out there... Uh, and the, the people have access to it and, and they can make up their minds for themselves. And obviously this is one of those ones uh, where it has been taken to that next level and gone, oh, actually, yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty serious stuff. Yeah. Um, look, the other thing I want to ask you about is a younger person. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, no, a couple of weekends ago, as I told you, I met up with the first woman I ever, you know, lived with. All right. <laughs> and it was like 40 <laughs> years on. And it was a lovely, we had lunch uh, on a Friday with some other friends from that time. And the things we remembered were... Like watching the first America's Cup, and for young people, we were in our twenties. It was cool to watch the America's Cup. The America's Cup '87 was a cool thing, right? Um, or '84 might have been '83, '84. Our first challenge. To are you interested in the America's Cup now? Do you see it as a significant cultural thing or part of your life or, or your mates' lives? No. No, and I remember I never was interested in the America's Cup because I'm yeah. not particularly into sailing. Yeah. I do remember the fanfare around it being more significant a few years ago um, and having my family talking about it at the yeah. dinner table and at um, reunions and stuff. And so it was, um, it, I can definitely relate to and feel the sort of falling off and the losing of a bit of its shine, not from a personal impact, you know, point of view, because I've never particularly been into boat racing or anything yeah. like that. But I, I can see the fall off. Yeah. and feel the fall off okay. in terms of its significance. And can I ask you, are you also engaged in, in Dame Jacinda Ardern getting a damehood? No. Does that drive you crazy? No, I, the, the, I didn't even notice that was happening today. I know Chris Hipkins has been going on about how he thinks that Jacinda Ardern needs to return to public discourse in New Zealand. Yeah, she needs um, to get elected then, doesn't she? I don't know who whether that was in response to a question someone asked him, but what a stupid question if it was. Yeah. Um, because I just, no, I don't have any interest. It's like you, I didn't particularly enjoy high school, but it's over now. I don't just wake up every morning and go, oh, oh I hate my high school. high school. That teacher Actually, was that's a, a really good way it's over. to see it. Um, it's done. It's over. And Jacinda Ardern's over. Yeah. And let's all move on. And my other question to you, you see what happened when oh, we were talking about ads on Monday and how much advertising on television, because we had monolithic media consumption. We had bugger all to watch. We didn't have the internet. So an ad that was paid repeatedly across the television channels became a huge part of our culture yeah. very quickly, right? You can see how that mm. would work. Do you have any interest in advertising as a young New Zealander? Do you watch it and say, that's a good ad? Would you talk about it with your friends? Would you say, I mean, see, I think TUI, the TUI billboards are the last great bastion of this that yeah, we'll talk I about them. I, I do agree. I think the billboards are, are such a, and because they're such an iconic thing, and they are, they're they're quite community focused because they're in a certain geographical location, and people who are doing the same thing every day will pass them and talk to other people that do the same thing every day about yep. what they've just seen. Um, visual uh, sort of television ads, broadcasting ads, yeah. it's just not the same kettle of fish anymore because the the main place that I see ads is YouTube. Yeah, and 
what happens is the only advertising I ever get is for ridiculous, you know, things like Grammarly and uh, or financial instruments because I'm looking at financial news quite a bit and stock market and stuff. So it's all tailored to your algorithm, and um, you know, so you, it, it, these they're not really they don't have the same kind of national reach where everyone's seeing the same stuff. It's like if you looked at holidays to Fiji, you're you're going to get Air New Zealand Jetstar mm. ads, whereas yeah. it's completely different to what someone else would be watching. All right, hey, good week, Ben. Despite those that didn't front, very good week on the platform, and I thank you for all your help, and I hope you have a good weekend, and we can finish off this delightful, delightful... Emerson's Pilsner. It's good, isn't it? The Emerson's Pilsner.